Послание апостола Павла к римлянам, глава 11, 16 и 18 стихи. The book of Romans 11, 16 through 18. For if the first fruit is holy, the lump is also holy, and if the root is holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches were broken off, and you, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them became a partaker of the root and fatness of the olive tree, do not boast against the branches, but if you do boast, re remember that you do not support the root, but the root supports you. This directly is linked to tithes and offerings, and those that have became become believers uh, of the Gentiles. These are us who are uh, of, of different nationalities, Russian, Fr French, or whatever we may be. And this is addressed to us. And so this place speaks of the first fruits as a root or a root system. Therefore, how we treat the root as the origin or the beginning will determine what happens with the rest of it, that is, with the branches. The word holy and so this word holy as the first fruit is holy it's 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 mentioning uh, as the first fruit and so holy is separated for God <coughs> dedicated to God belonging to God protecting uh, or being protected by God de developing and expanding yourself in God honoring God and being honored by God blessed by God according to scripture Christianity not growing upon the root of the Jewish teaching is a false Christianity This is a Christianity that is saturated with Gentile teachings that comes from different places or is literally created in the moment. But our teaching, the faith teaching, <coughs> needs to be based upon the Jewish faith teaching. Israel was holiness to the Lord, the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him will offend. Disaster will come upon them, says the Lord. Jeremiah 2 3. And so we not need to not only be uh, members of the nation of Israel, but be born from God. James 1.18 Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. <coughs> And so in Jesus Christ, we become a first fruit just as the nation of Israel. We have the uh, legitimate right to receive the promises that were given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because of Jesus Christ. However, to establish yourself in the virtue of your birth from the seed of the word of truth, to be a first fruit of the creation of God, it is necessary to always honor God with tithes and offerings, which are the first fruits in the status of the Lord's holiness. Our pastor shows us because we are connected to this root and the Lord sees us or looks at us as this first uh, as this first fruit, we need to confirm ourselves or establish the fact that we are this first fruit and the Lord giving us salvation. We need to confirm it, justification. We also need to confirm so we not lose them. And so if justification is the seed that passes through death, then it is resurrected in the fruits of the tree of life and righteousness and it is confirmed in the character of Christ. <clears throat> and so everything God gives, He gives so that a person can confirm this within himself, he can establish it in himself. And so this first fruit can be confirmed by giving your first fruits, your tithes to God. Exodus 22:29. You shall not delay to offer the first of your ripe produce and your juices, the firstborn of your sons. You shall give to me. Deuteronomy 26:12 through 15. When you have finished laying aside all the tithes of your increase, then you shall say before the Lord your God, I have given according to all your commandments which you have commanded me. I have not transgressed. I did not eat any of it when in mourning, nor have I removed any of it for an unclean use, nor given any of it for the dead. I have obeyed the voice of the Lord God. I look down from your holy habitation from heaven and bless your people Israel and the land which you have given to us. It's talking about how you, 
you need to participate in the service of tithes that first the Lord looks at our heart it, our heart needs to be bringing our, uh, this tithe with joy it also needs to be money that's not won in some way or stolen uh, pretty much uh, not anything that you did not labor for and so you may ask well do we not bring those uh, tithes from those those of that money that we may receive well you do but you need to repent then for that repent for these uh, for doing such things and so as in some uh, faith teachings charismatic teachings where they do the dead works of the flesh and we honor God upon his place upon his conditions let's look at 10 uh, 10 uh, things that happen when you bring your tithe to God and it is presented in the law of the spirit of life first separating all your tithes from your house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in scripture we first confirm that we are the holiness of the Lord or the first fruit of his creation what we talked about everything that God gives he gives in the format of a seed and we need to confirm it in the format of fruit we are called his holiness his first fruit and we confirm this through the service of tithes and offerings when we bring our first fruits to the Lord into a living church second separating our tithes from our house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in Scripture we honor God and the word honor is not give it's uh, this word honor relates to spiritual things and things for God and so honor is is something that happens in the temple in the Bible uh, it's honoring God with what is holy third separating all your tithes from your house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in scripture we confirm that we are worshipers of God worshiping him in spirit and in truth what does it mean to worship in spirit and in truth this means not to pervert the truth and to worship God in uh, using the truth applying the truth that is written in our spirit worshiping in spirit and in truth is worshiping uh, using the truth that is written in our spirit fourth separating our tithes from our house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in scripture we provide God with legitimate grounds to adopt our body by the redemption of Christ <clears throat> we read in Deuteronomy that I will bless your land your body which I have given to you and how will he bless this body he will allow this body to be adopted and so that is uh, it, the fifth is separating all your ties from your house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in scripture we cut ourselves off from the root of all evil love for money which is the root of our earthly origin in the form of the passed on to us genetic curse <clears throat> and so the root of all evil is love for money and we chop down this root when we participate in tithes and offerings or the service of it. Sixth, separating all our tithes from our house in accordance to the demands implemented by, implemented by God in Scripture, we confirm our belonging to the house of Israel. The Lord says, I will not only bless this land, but I will also bless Israel that lives upon this land. We need blessing not just for our body, but also for our emotions, for our soul, for our mind, <clears throat> for all of our essence. The Lord says, I will bless everything. I will I'll bless the land and all of, all of you, all of Israel, if a person honors him correctly. Seventh, separating all your tithes from your house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in Scripture, we confirm our partaking to the first weave or waved sheaf before the Lord in the form of the church of a firstborn written in heaven and so in this waving of the sheaf this happened at the harvest of harvest that was before the the feast of the Pentecost 
And it was typically the harvest of barley that this uh, that this happened during this time. They waved the sheaves before the Lord, and in this way testified that they are the first uh, first fruit before the Lord. And we do this by bringing our tithes and our offerings. Eighth, separating all our tithes from our house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in Scripture, we confirm our guarantee to rapture and meeting the Lord upon the clouds. Again, this first sheaf that was waved before the Lord, this was the royal harvest. This symbolized rapture. Ninth, separating all our tithes from our house in accordance to the de- to the demands implemented by God in Scripture, we demonstrate our love to God and accept over ourselves His unquestionable authority. <laughs> Jesus said, if you want to demonstrate your love to me, and Peter says, Lord, you know I love you, he said, follow my commandments, keep my commandments. And so as he said, you need to take care of my sheep, begin to work, do something for me. Demonstrate your love in action. The acts of righteousness, the works of righteousness, this is where we demonstrate our love in the works of righteousness. Tenth, separating all our tithes from our house in accordance to the demands implemented by God in Scripture, we confirm the righteousness of God and exalt within our body His law. Right now, we will be singing a psalm, and we will thank God that He looks at, it, at us like this as His first fruit, <clears throat> and how we confirm this by the works of righteousness, which is fulfilling His law, the law of liberty. And so some bring the tithe in accordance to the law of Moses, we do it because of the law of liberty. Let us stand and sing.
I will happily uh, repeat what our Pastor Arkady says every time when the nation of Israel came into the tabernacle of Moses or the temple of Solomon, they were required as a command from Moses that he received from God to stretch out their hands over their tithes and proclaim this manifestation, this prayer that they were faithful to for thousands of years. We are that same Israel. We're nourished by the same olive tree. We will do the same thing. Please stretch out your hand over your tithes and pray together with me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have separated my tithe from my house and have brought it into your temple so that you may have food within your house. I do not give in sorrow, and I do not give in impurity. I do not give for the dead. I deeply believe in your unchanging word, and I rejoice that I have the privilege to demonstrate my love and to acknowledge your authority. And now, in accordance to your words, I pray right now, may your, may your heavenly windows be open to me, and may your blessing come without end upon your redeemed nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.